Okay, now that you're with me in the list section, what I want you to do is go up here and click create a list. Now, for the details, you're going to want to give a list name, your default email address, which is going to be either your personal email address or your name at your domain.com. The default from name, so just use your own name or use a pen name if you want to remain anonymous. And then a section where it says remind people how they signed up to your list. I would recommend just being as specific as possible. Like you decide to download my freebie, you signed up to get access to secret coupons, you signed up to get a uh, access to my secret newsletter, whatever. Just so they won't mark you as spam, which could really hurt you in the long run. Contact, contact information, it'll automatically pull your address, but you can edit that. So that address is going to go in the very bottom of all your email addresses. It's a can spam regulation. You have to do it. Uh, you can also use a PO box. So um, you could use something that's not your home address if you're concerned about security or privacy. Moving on, notifications. When you start off, it's nice to have a daily summary of the different people who have signed up to your list. It can keep you motivated and it really is encouraging to see those notifications come in. As you start getting dozens or hundreds a week, you might want to turn that off as it could get a bit spammy. So for now, you click one by one, subscription notifications as they happen. Now, this is a matter of personal preference, one by one, unsubscribe notifications. At first, I leave this clicked on because if you're getting an abnormal amount of unsubscribes, that means that the emails you're putting out are probably too promotional or there are too many promotional emails in a row. It's okay to put out an advertisement every once in a while, but you have to put value out in most of your emails. Otherwise, number one, people will stop opening them, and number two, they will unsubscribe. So let's go through the section again. List name, I'm just gonna put test one. Default address, admin at khealy.com. Default from name, Kyle. You signed up to get my social networking cheat sheets, which by the way, you can do at khaley.com. So all these boxes should be ticked for now. Your address should be in here, a reason and all your information, and we're good to go to click save. There you go, you have a list set up in the back end of MailChimp, and in the next session I will show you what to do next.